Hey everybody, welcome to Hockey Skate Down. Before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. If you want to join our hockey team, it's free. Click subscribe, hit the notification bell to all. Thank you all so much, and let's get started. So in this video, there's a couple of rumors that are surrounding the New Jersey Devils, uh, Toronto Maple Leafs, and Billy Husso of the St. Louis Blues. Uh, Elliot Friedman, in his latest 32 Thoughts podcast, talked about uh, the Devils and a possible uh, addition to their assistant coaching spot as it's vacant right now. And also talked about Billy Husso having a connection with the New Jersey Devils. So please stay with me throughout. I'll talk about that all in this video. So per Elliot Friedman from his recent 32 Thoughts podcast, he said the Devils are believed to be among the teams interested in former Florida Panthers head coach and Jack Adams award finalist Andrew Burnett in an assistant coaching role for, the, for next season. If Lindy Ruff is on the hot seat next season, meaning if the Devils don't get off to a good start or they're kind of faltering at some point of the season, this can be seen as Fitzgerald preparing an eventual succession plan in order to secure the next coach for this young Devils squad. Um, looking at Andrew Brene's uh, history, he was a former player, uh, went on to co uh, assistant coach the Minnesota Wild and the Florida Panthers before becoming an uh, interim coach of the Florida Panthers helping them to a 51-18-6 record this year. So, um, And then losing in the second round to the Tampa Bay Lightning. So, you know, I think this would be an interesting route to take. You have definitely, like uh, Elliot Friedman suggested, that um, they have a succession plan. So in case the Devils um, falter to start the year or anything, which I, I don't see them doing with, with the additions they make this year, but in, in the event that that does happen, they have someone who can step right into that role as they did this year and help the Panthers go as far as they did. You know, you're not doing that in the midst of next year if this happens. So this is a very interesting take. You're seeing a lot of uh, different coaches being snatched up by certain teams. So there's not a lot available. So the Devils better try to act a bit more quickly on this if they're looking to get, especially a name like Andrew Brunet. And then going over to the goaltending of Vili Husso. Um, you know, Darcy Kemper, Jack Campbell, who I'll we'll talk about in a little bit, and John Gibson are amongst the names that the Devils will be targeting. But Vili Husso is very interesting, and, and it, for this reason in particular. Elliot Friedman said on his, again, the same recent uh, 32 Thoughts podcast, said that New Jersey Devils are expected to be in the conversation for pending free agent Vili Husso. Friedman notes that the Devils goalie coach Dave Rogalski, uh, known from his time in a similar role for AHL's old San Antonio Rampage, and that could be a connection with, that could be the Devils' key in a connection to landing the 27-year-old goalie, who was the third place voting in Vezina Trophy. So, I have Vili Husso at the top of my list. Um, I have him and Campbell, one, two. You know, looking at all the other goaltenders, I think Darcy Kemper is going to be very expensive, especially with the year he had, um, and especially him winning the Stanley Cup. That's going to place him into an another couple of a million. Um, you have... Uh, you know, especially with other names out there. They may be a bit more expensive. I think Huso can be a name that can be had uh, pretty cheap. You could sign him long-term. And uh, Jack Campbell as well. You're looking at him in the five, six million dollar range, as that's been said the past couple of weeks. So, um, you know, these are two of the names that have been linked to the New Jersey Devils. Uh, John Gibson's name in trade rumors hasn't been linked to the Devils, but he's been linked to the Leafs. So, um, you know, you're going to see these goaltenders go very quickly as you have a lot of teams looking to add a goaltender. Uh, the Devils are one, Toronto Maple Leafs, and especially the Edmonton Oilers. Those are three of the teams that would be heavily looking to land a goaltender for this upcoming season. So, again, the Devils should act quickly on this as there's a lot of teams that would be very interested in all these names uh, surrounding the goaltenders. And going over to Mackenzie Blackwood, uh, Frank Saravelli on Sportsnet 960 said that the, to keep a lookout for the Leafs and the Devils in a trade. Um, he suggested, or he said, I could see that happening of a deal regarding Mackenzie Blackwood for Jack Campbell's rights. So, you know, I think this is going to be a format of a trade. I don't think it's going to be Mackenzie Blackwood for uh, the rights of a player. Um, you know, I think there's going to be other moving parts involved in this trade, especially that the Devils can help facilitate and help out the Toronto Maple Leafs if, they, if the Toronto Maple Leafs can add certain things to the deal. So uh, in regards to their cap space. So these are two teams to definitely keep an eye out on. As, a, as the Leafs are looking to shed cap space, the Devils have some that they can, you know, help some teams out if they're get, given some other uh, assets as well. So um, it's going to be a very interesting offseason. You know, I, I don't assume the Devils looking for two goaltenders. It's very possible with the names that are out there. You heard the rumors, especially involving uh, Alexander Georgiev, who I did in, in a, a recent video. I'll link it at the end. So um, there's other names out there that the Devils could target, but I don't see them adding two goaltenders. Could It's possible, but I don't see them. I see them adding one, possibly keeping Blackwood if that's the case. 
you know, try to work through their issues and if they're having any. I don't know. It's been said that there has been uh, a rift between the two, but of, of course, that's just rumors. I don't know. But, um, you know, what do you think about all this news? What do you think about uh, Andrew Brunet possibly being an assistant coach for the New Jersey Devils for this upcoming season? And what do you think about Billy Huso being uh, possibly the number one goaltender for the New Jersey Devils going forward if the Devils can land him as signing him as a free agent this, uh, this offseason, which is in the midst now, but free agency will open up in the next couple of weeks. So what do you guys and girls think about that? Comment below and let me know. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate your time. Smash that like button if you haven't done so and subscribe to Hockey Skate Down. It's free and join our hockey team. Thank you all so much. Have a great rest of the day. Have a great night. Take it easy. Stay safe.